So this is our first day in Shanghai and we're staying at the Mercure which is about 10 minutes away from the Bund where the action is. It's basically a four-star hotel ranging about $100 a night which is not so bad for China standards and this is where we're gonna have uh, cocktails for tonight. And I was waiting for Berna and we decided to go to a store which they call the Pop Mart. So we are hoping that um, we can find some souvenirs here. And uh, this is becoming a fad in the Philippine market where it's uh, a craze by a lot of Filipinos and uh, the specialty of the store is selling these items and they're not so uh, cheap, huh? uh, quite expensive most of the uh, uh, Filipinos buying this are actually uh, looking for this particular item which we'll be showing you in a few seconds. There you go, it's called La Bubu. La Bubu. I don't know why it was called La Bubu. Um, made famous by a lot of uh, celebrities in the Philippines. That's why uh, lots of uh, Pinoys would like to order it but it's always uh, out of stock it's quite difficult uh, to find it and uh, if you're going to make a business well this is it la bubu which you can sell during the bazaar so now after the searching for la bubu we are now going to walk along the uh, pedestrian streets and uh, this is the famous one let me ask Berna Berna ano pangalan ulit tong famous street Nanking Berna Berna what's the what's the name of the famous street yung kanina yung pedestrian street where we walk to Na, Nanjing or Nanking Nanjing uh, I don't know if that's correct but uh, sounds like Nanjing and uh, it's a very long pedestrian street you can start from the people's park and you end up in the river but uh, normally the the best time to walk would be at night where everything is just well lighted we decided to uh, take a train because, like what I said a while ago, it's quite a long walk. Not unless, of course, you want to exercise. And today, we're going to uh, be doing a lot of walking. So, I'm, we're preserving our strength so we can uh, still walk till, uh, till probably about 9 or 10 o'clock. Because we want to see the uh, nightlife of uh, the band. And uh, there's so many, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, small uh, trains that you can ride. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, this is already the uh, People's Park. Actually, People's Park is uh, it's like an ordinary park where you can just relax. It's the end of the uh, pedestrian. And uh, upon reaching the People's Park, I saw some uh, bus and uh, I told Berna to buy some tickets. Not so cheap, uh, it cost about 60 uh, RMB for one person. So 120 RMB for both of us. So uh, multiply that times eight, uh, that's almost a thousand pesos. So it's actually a bus tour 
and you can be going down oh those are the famous uh, iconic uh, buildings of uh, Shanghai and the tallest one I believe is the uh, Shanghai Tower one of the tallest in the world and considered one of the iconic buildings here and I'm sure tonight we're gonna see that uh, tower again with uh, so many lights and this is the band B-U-N-D that's the spelling this is the band uh, which is uh, very famous here in uh, Shanghai yes Nanjing yeah okay I think uh, it's correct Nanjing pedestrian street so most of the time it's actually uh, filled with so many people and uh, they're really uh, plentiful here especially the Chinese together with the tourists so it becomes very very crowded so we're still on the bus going around and uh, exploring the city of Shanghai so at night we're going back here to see uh, all the lights of uh, the band and here on the band there are very famous hotels like Astoria Peninsula and this is the uh, U Garden and uh, we decided to uh, go down the bus here to explore and visit this uh, very famous U uh, Garden Berna said we've been here already but uh, I couldn't remember so so well and right across the street is actually um, some sort of a food mart or an outdoor foodie so let's look around let's see what we can eat here so these are the vendors an average of about 30 to 50 yuan if you want to eat here oh these are the famous squid look at look at look at those squids displayed on the stalls of uh, one of the vendors and they really look so delicious and after that we decide now to uh, enter the U garden and uh, something I notice, uh, look at the architecture. So the architecture here is, uh, I would say, one of the best I've seen so far. And uh, I can't remember it because the last time I was here, it was during daytime and it looks more attractive. Uh, actually at night because uh, it's well lighted so around it are uh, so many shops and look at those on top of the shops are uh, LCD screens so it's really something that uh, you will be amazed because of uh, of the uh, displays and the screens on top so we start going around and me, I'm just simply uh, taking video of this uh, very beautiful structure and we saw a restaurant serving uh, Xiaolong uh, Bao, what's the name of Berna? Xiaolong Bao, correct? Shalong Bao, Shalong Bao. Okay, so we decide to have a taste of the Shalong Bao. So after that, we go around again, exploring uh, the area. Oh, look how nice at night. You won't probably enjoy this scenery if you go during daytime. It's much, much different because of the lights. 
and it's better to walk uh, at night because uh, it's not gonna be so uh, so hot and you can really uh, explore the U Garden so this is uh, a restaurant inside but we're already full so we just decided to look around so you can go around the pond actually to keep on uh, exploring and me I'm more curious about the food that's why uh, I'd like to adventure more on the cooking so uh, this is how the uh, shopping looks like at night so this will be our dessert the matcha matcha ice cream and after the ice cream we go back to eating again because I found my favorite which is the uh, chicken feet and uh, we have one one each one for Berna and one for me and after that we go to the bond and I'm still inside the bus with this uh, very bad reflection of the lights so we go down to keep on exploring more and as you can see everything is just well lighted and uh, the hotels here are really so expensive that uh, it costs you about four hundred to a thousand dollars a night, or even more, only because because of the location that uh, they're in the uh, center of the bond, and across the bond you get to see this particular uh, view. I think that's the TV tower which is also iconic and the uh, traffic is building up so you have the barn on the right and on the left side are the uh, iconic buildings wow well lighted just like in Hong Kong huh? when you're in the Victoria Harbor it's almost the same view but the buildings are different here so we cross the street because we wanted to have uh, a better view which is uh, right beside the river Hang, ha, what's the name of the river Berna Hangzhou is it Berna Hangzhou ha, Hangpao river there's a name uh, you forgot yeah there's a river but uh, we forgot the name but I'm sure it's it begins with letter H so we're still seeing the well-lighted buildings and this is becoming a, a number one activity especially at night where they want to walk the uh, Nanjing street so then they get to eat in those restaurants so after eating they, they walk and this will be their exercise so once you decide to go to Shanghai, you should not miss this place because it's so lively at night that you wouldn't want to miss it. Yes, I think I was here uh, maybe eight years ago. We already took the, uh, the boat ride where you can actually see it uh, while enjoying a, a cruise by this, uh, by this river. Wow, look at those lights. So colorful. And no wonder, there's so many uh, selfies here and a lot of uh, Instagram photos being taken. So it's being uh, divided by that very beautiful river. I think this looks like a government uh, building here. So what animal is this? I have to research. 
So, again, to visit the barn, the best is always during the night. As you can see, it's the, the streets are, are empty right now because they're waiting for some VIPs to arrive. And uh, the police are very, very strict. So, finished with the bond and we're back at the hotel for our uh, welcome drinks. So we get uh, a white wine and we'll end up the day just our first day with cheers from Bernard. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks for watching.